To make an air horn, you're going to need a few different things. You're going to need a pair of scissors and also a razor. You're going to need a regular straw, a balloon, and a film canister that has a lid. Okay, the first step you're going to need to do is to actually make a hole in the film canister. And for that, I actually use a pen. And let me show you how I do that. One of the holes you're going to need is actually going to be on the bottom. So if this is the top of the film canister where the lid is, flip it over and use your pen and push really hard until you make a hole. This hole needs to be just the perfect size so your straw barely slides in. It has to be a real snug fit. You don't want the straw falling out. And we found that pens tend to be just about the right size for doing that. If you really want to be picky, feel free to use a drill bit. The second hole you need to make is actually in the side. This one's a little bit tougher, so make sure you get a grown-up to help you with this. And you basically just want to hold this, use your pen, and go ahead and push through. This is the one that's a little tougher. If you're finding that a pen just isn't doing it for you, that's what your razor is for. Go ahead and click it out just a little bit. Ask your grown-up to go ahead and round out that hole for you. This hole doesn't have a straw. This is just going to be where you're going to blow into. So this one doesn't, the, the size doesn't really matter quite as much. Okay, so now I've got two holes. I've got one in the side and one in the end. And again, the straw is going to fit right in the, the end one in just a minute. Go ahead and take the lid off of your film canister and set the whole thing aside and pull out your balloon. Now for your balloon, you need to cut off the neck of the balloon. Okay, and throw that away. The next thing you need to do is you're going to cut all the way around the balloon. You basically want to open up the balloon and make a big sheet of latex. So you can open it up just like this. Okay, and It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to show you how we're going to use this. You're going to take your film canister and on the end that's open right here, you're going to place the balloon and then go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure there's balloon coming out of all around it. And you want to make sure you've got it pulled as tight as you can before you put the lid on. You want this to look like a drum head, nice and tight. The second thing you need to do is insert your straw. And you're inserting your straw. Now what you can't see, because the film canister is uh, not see-through, because it's black, I'm putting my straw all the way in until it barely touches the balloon on the inside surface. So it's just going to just barely touch it. Now your job is to blow in the hole here at the same time that you adjust this angle. You need the balloon and the, the contact between the balloon and the straw to be just so that when you blow in here it makes a high pitched squeal that gets forced out the end of the tube. You can alternatively blow in this way, but it works much louder and much better when you blow here. So this one takes a bit of practice. It's really picky on the angle between the, the surface of the balloon and the straw. So go ahead and give that a try right now. Go ahead and blow in this hole, wiggle this around a little bit, and see what you can come up with. We actually call these parent annoyers, by the way. And so parents, you can also tell your kids to go outside while they practice their musical abilities. All right, go ahead and have fun.